Welcome to another week of events. We have the Electro Party. Collapse arrives. Collapse is gonna be finally available for, for players to use and the Galaxy Temple. So for this coverage of this week, instead of doing the usual, we'll actually go with the Galaxy Temple in number one <laughs> as the events and then we'll cycle back in this video to the other events. Now for the Galaxy Temple, hero selection 100% as usual, you need to select uh, six heroes. Before we actually do that for once maybe you should go and look at the leadership board the place where your ranking gives you rewards these nice rewards and actually look at what heroes are being used and also do do a reference of going back to the evil artifact video on the channel so you at least have some idea when you get a specific hero what evil artifacts should you give them now for this season we're looking at a usage of the Emperor, we're looking at the usage of Chloros, the Queen of Desert, Elodium, and Collapse is being used with a mixture of using Zeus with him, Lucidia also is being used for her support. So the heroes that you should target for this season, Lucidia, Zeus, Collapse, the Queen of Desert, the Emperor Y, and... Um, yeah, that's most of the heroes. The rest, just try to select a good selection based on what shows for you. Now, let's move into our hero selection. We need one support, two support, and then we're going to fill it up with our DPS. Okay, we're going to go with this selection of heroes based on... Well, they can work together at least up to an acceptable degree in winning round number one. So we won in round number one and got one of the equipment that we really value actually to have, which can help, which is the Tyrant's Hammer. The Tyrant's Hammer can really help with our attacker, the DPS. Now we're going to sell uh, two of our heroes. We're going to buy the Great Sage. And then we're going to go to the Great Sage and we're going to give him the Tyrant's Hammer. Okay. Then we're going to do absolutely nothing and then click on next round. We're not going to buy anything. We're going to enter the battle exactly as we are. Now, let's enter into the battle and let's see if we can actually win. The direction for this one is the Great Sage is going to be taking them out one by one. That's exactly what we want. At the same time, Lady Ivy will have her twining. They have the twining. We have our twining also. And the Space Monkey or Space Kong will help us in slowing them down and reflecting part of the damage taken. It's fine. It's fine. The Great Sage will actually start taking them out one by one. And Lady Ivy keeps resurrecting herself by using up Einstein. That's fine. So one hero out. Time for the rest to be eliminated. It's going to take time. So we'll stop the video for a second and come back. Okay. And finally we won. We just had one loss and needed to adjust the lineup. By adjusting I mean moving the heroes around. So they can actually be better positioned. Based on winning, we got another hero that we really will need and value, and it's time to sell three of our heroes and keep three, and take the Seth of Hunt. Fantastic, we're looking at something better. We're going to give the Seth of Hunt to one of our heroes, but first, let's actually refresh. And then we're looking at one of the good things, the Oracle Ring, that we can give it to Zeus, but we don't really have any Zeus. Now let's refresh. Uh, okay, refresh. Anna, we don't need Anna. Let's refresh. Refresh. Lucas, we'll take Lucas for now. And um, yeah, we'll settle on this selection. We might just need to add one extra hero. All right. Now we're going to be given the Seth of Hunt. And unfortunately, since we don't really want to give it, um, I guess we'll give it. We'll give it to the Great Sage. And then we're going to give or is she the tyrant's hammer then we're going to go into the battle of round number two and we're going to put lucas in number one and take the great sage in the behind lineup all right let's skip directly the battle and we won 
now we're gonna sell three of our heroes that we really don't need and then go into the next round gain the entrance uh, in uh, interest and then we're gonna be taking balance refreshing refreshing more refresh okay we're gonna take insidious we can use actually having actually i didn't take it i clicked on refresh that's okay we actually need the emperor and now we're looking better in our lineup selection what we really need at this stage is getting the queen of desert and sticking to that lineup for the rest of our battles we're going to be putting him in number one and we're going to be putting balance in the behind row we're going to be entering the battle like this and if you ever wondered how this uh, lineup or battle will will actually go you can watch it so we're relying on balance to actually try to slow them uh, stop them from moving lucas for his contract to allow us to survive the great sage and orashi on actually poisoning the target and killing them one by one as you can see in round number one we already did take out the majority of them and balance of course will stop the enemy from being able to move okay now we're going into round number four and we at this stage need to start considering getting some equipment for balance the emperor and lucas if we get a chance again gain the interest and we have elodia which is a good selection actually uh but for this one we're actually not gonna go for elodia unfortunately as a lineup let's refresh and we have the ability to take angel wings let's do one refresh mm -hmm. okay angel wings we're going to be giving it to the emperor in hopes of him surviving around number uh, in the positioning of number one then we're going to, we are going to be going into battle and then doing the skip functionality of round five we won no problem we're going to be selling one of the heroes we got, which we do not need. Taking the interest, going back. We see the hero that we actually lost coming back again to us, which is fantastic. We're going to take the Abyss Boots for this direction. And we're going to be giving it to our lovely dragon for his poisoning ability. Uh, for now, we might actually give lucas the tyrant's hammer uh, despite this is the wrong direction it's more for a dps than him but because of the recovery of hp when it drops it can help him to survive a little bit longer and then we're gonna go with this lineup again in this battle uh, after this we really need to get the queen of desert if she's available lucidia is also a good option but we prefer the queen of desert we're not going to sell Lucidia, we're going to keep Lucidia, and then we're going to be getting the interest and refreshing. And then let's try to refresh. Okay, no. Primal power, no. Mm, can work. Profits, blessing for Lucidia, but no. Collapse can work, but let's look at his skill, what they added. Da, 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 da. Increase in damage, damage to four enemies black hole okay we're going to sell Lucidia we're going to take collapse and then we're going to give collapse the meteor dust I'm gonna take it and then we're gonna refresh in hopes of something good eternal oath no we can at least get something for balance if it shows um we can at least give balance the eternal oath i guess let's refresh yeah that the devouring one can really make a difference in having it in battle so we might have to sacrifice some of the equipment we have if we sell one of the 15 it will actually not be sufficient for the 45 we'll have to sell both so okay let's gamble still a little bit close but not fully there okay so we kind of screwed up there let's refresh that was a bad screw up refresh 
Ah, the Baron. Okay, having the Baron can help actually in battle. Should we go for him? I think we can. Let's sell our lovely dragon and put in his place the Baron and then refresh. We're getting another collapse. Instead of striker, he has Vital. So we're gonna go with that copy and then refresh. Again, it comes back. The Devouring Wand. Let's look at the final direction of what we have. Okay, let's give the Baron our Abyss Boots. And then that's kind of what we have. Hmm. Okay. Let's refresh. Increase the effective hit. That's not what we're looking at. Collapse. We can give him fatal judgment because we're running out of time in selection and interest amounts we have. Okay. Let's enter into the battle for the final duel and just accept the reality of what we were given and then try to align our lineups as best as we can and uh, yeah hopefully it will be sufficient against the queen of desert let's watch the final round and see and balance has stopped two of the enemy from being able to move and we're gonna take out Queen of Desert faster than expected, which is good. We don't want her to survive long in battle. Okay, nice until now. Storm Falcon is stopped from being able to move by balance, which is fantastic. We're gonna see the attack that Collapse can actually do, so we're waiting for that. Okay, we took out the Queen of Desert. Collapse isn't attacking, which sucks. Okay, finally, he's attacking. Nice, his attack is good, actually. Okay, remaining two. And Lucas with his contract to help us survive. Nice. And balance attacks. Nice, almost there. Great. So now we have seven wins and we can enter into the ranking directly and test our heroes against other players. Since people haven't really started now and progressed, it's just a very limited amount of players available. And we won. That takes us to the ranking of number nine. Let's go at ranking number six and see if we can win. And we lost, which is fine. Let's try the ranking of number five. Another loss. It's okay. Ranking number four. Let's see. We won. That takes us to the current ranking of number four. And then we have ranking number one. Let's go up against that player. Let's see if we can actually win. Mm hmm Okay. Collapse versus collapse. Okay. Still surviving up until now. We lost one of the heroes. Oh, he put evasion. Okay, makes sense. Let's skip. And we lost. Let's try the second ranking number two, and then again at the ranking number one. We won and became ranking number two. Now let's go up against ranking number one again. We didn't win. Let's try again. We're going to be attempting it and to see, uh, until we can see if we can actually win or not. If we're not going to win, we have to end the battle itself. Okay, final attempt. Okay, so our lineup currently cannot win, which is unfortunate, but we kind of did advance very early to actually the leadership board in number two. Currently, we're playing in number two. So this is the hero selection I used. This is the hero selection the holder of number one is currently using, which is a good selection. You can see he's using the pit spear for collapse. He's using the boots on the great sage. 
is using the Seth Hunt on the Baron, Radiance on Balance, Lucidia, he's given her the Armor of Destruction, and Angel Wings for the Spirit Deer. Nice, and people are starting to actually start playing, and you can see one by one the lineups they've selected. All right, for now, we're going to be taking the rewards from the Galaxy Quests for the Galaxy Temple. And then the stages, the weekly quests. And that will take us directly from the first attempts up until 120. And at the end, we're going to be getting the S, uh, the six-star Stigmata Selection card. And this is actually in the first three attempts, pretty much the challenge in the first three. 